new today now, the traction engines this time, they've all cooked a different cake in the smoke box. So now we voted, we had to cut each cake and I voted that the lime cake, and this is the lady who cooked it, in the smoke box was the winner. Hi, I'm Louise. I won the competition to cook a cake in the smoke box and I made a lime cake in the smoke box of a McLaren. It's nice to meet you for the first time. This is my first visit down here. And, uh, our first visit. Our first, our first, uh, our first visit <laughs> yes, down yes, here. Yes. And grand it is too. I've, I've watched this event on your channel for, oh, I don't know, three or four years. But it took me three and a half yeah. hours yesterday in the car. I'm a cat man. So I need to, be, need to be convinced that it's a good event, which it, which it is. But it's been worth coming. Yes, it's good. It's yeah. a nice sight. We're very impressed. Yes, yeah. very impressed. Uh, the, the engine's a four-inch steam traction world dual bearing compound Burrell Road Loco, which we started in 2011 and we finished in 2015. With a Windermere kettle? Yeah, I made the Windermere kettle out of... <laughs> I made that kettle out of a, a World War II American mortar shell. It took me, it took me a couple of months to finish it, but uh, it's been... Makes a good kettle go. It's a good steam up. When we bought the kit they did say you could make it with a hammer and a screwdriver. Don't believe it. It, it does take a bit more than it that. It takes a bit it? more than that but we look at this and think did we really make this don't we? We do yes yeah yeah. I'm just a labourer. And the cleaner. I'm cleaner yes I'm the cleaner. People are riding it but I clean it. Yeah and very good very good you are at polishing it too Dad. <laughs> Unfortunately, the rain, the rain has taken the shine off the brass. Yeah, it's all my
Hello, my name is John James and I'm from Craven Arms in Shropshire and I brought my fairground organ down to Pembury Park this weekend uh, for the rally down here for everybody to enjoy hopefully. <laughs> John from Swansea Bus Museum. Welcome to Pembury Country Park. We're running buses around the park, free rides, uh, both today, Saturday and tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, you're welcome to come and join us. And we're on our next running day in the museum. We just had one uh, last weekend. Our next running day is now Sunday, March the 15th. So we look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you. Michael Washer from the Tonetti Wood Turning Club. I've uh, done the rugby ball beer I saw it on the internet and decided I'd like the challenge of making one. And that's what I've come up with. Anybody interested in buying it, I'm open to offers. Hello there. Are we going? Yes, we're going. Hello there. We have come to uh, the Nestle at the Pembrey Country Park today and we have brought our collection of uh, 80s Sporting Fords and 170s Mark II Escort. We travel nationwide to go around all car shows that are local to the area and we have a broad collection of Fords between the, the few of us at the year and our club is PMW Sport in Fords and that stands for Paul, Mark and Wayne and we are three brothers and we have an interest in um, Ford cars of the era and we have a selection year that we have put together over the years which we cherish and look after and we bring them out for 
the public to enjoy and for us to enjoy the day ourselves. Well, I was just going to say, my younger brother Paul here, I've had his car since he was 16 years of age. He was very young and he had a thing for Mark II Escorts. And we went looking and we bought one locally from Brecon and he has had it now from 16 and he's now 30, 36 years of age. And you'll see that, I'm sure, in due course on the, on the video. And uh, my other brother has had his Fiesta XR2 year approximately 13 years so we've 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 had we've all had our cars for a long time and uh, we got a nice XR4 and a nice XR3 with us today and we've a few more at home as well so enjoy your day thank you My name's James Ward and I'm here with 4x4 Response Wales. We're part of a national organisation that provides logistical support to the emergency services. I think I think it was small. 